What's up guys? So this is just going to be a chill video. I have this React template that I've been using for uh, basically starting React uh, applications that has some of the boilerplate done already. And I'm just going to be updating it and show you guys how I'm updating it. So I'm just going to first just get clone this. And uh, I'm just going to rename it um, React Redux Saga template because it's really uh, set up with Redux Saga and I'm going to leave this one here because it has some older stuff but it kind of has changed how I like to architect my React um, applications now so I want to update this and reflect how I like to do it now but before I actually um, oops we don't need that React Redux Saga template. Okay. Let's actually just open that up. So, reducers, sagas. Before I actually start on making the new one, I actually want to just update this actual one, this template, with the new Redux Saga features. So, take every is now from there, and you no longer have to do yield star. Um, if I just open this up and do npm start now should start without an error so this this template was getting an error before um, react dom oh and I just forgot to download the stuff I love using yarn um, so I'll download all of the libraries real quick and then after we get that going just do get status get at all get commit I'm just basically assuming it's gonna work um, update saga syntax get push forge master um, and now we can do npm start and hopefully this does work and if this starts working I wanna leave um, this version up if it's now working and I'm gonna after that start the new version up oh, and it does not work take every is not a function so see what oops what doesn't it like uncut something root take every is not a function call something which is a function dot param This looks fine to me. Oh, that's something saga, something saga. It doesn't like this. Does it actually want the star here? I didn't think it wanted the star anymore. Yeah, okay, the star is not what's causing the error. Call something. That uh, is super weird. Take every is not a function. Take every. <laughs> See, I'm literally seeing it right here from Redux Saga. They're doing the exact same thing. Oh, let's Google there. You know when you go to a GitHub issue page, it's not going to be easy to debug. Slash is going to be more annoying than it needs to be. Um, do I just need to yarn remove Redux Saga? Yarn 
add Redux Saga. I'm thinking I just need to uninstall, reinstall. Nope, I just removed and add, added the same version. You can see that right here. So you can mail this version off. Actually, no, this might be the version for Yarn. Okay, let's see why not. That could have fixed something. For whatever reason, it's not recognizing take, oops, take every action as a function. The only reason I can think of that is because I have an old yarn version, not yarn version, um, Redux Saga. Okay, now we're getting a new error. Take every helper, uncut argument is not valid or a valid pattern. <laughs> there we go. Now we are working. So now I can do git status, git add all, and I can turn off. I use turn port, or I use turn, I think it's called, um, for some auto completion and uh, for JavaScript and it always creates a little dot turn port file which literally just has the turn port or the port to where it's running so we're updating Redux Saga version and now our template should be good to go so now I'm just gonna kill git and I'm gonna get init a new project, and then get add all, get status, get commit. Let's change the readme. My React um, template when I want to use Redux Saga. There we go. Get commit initial ooh initial commit and let's set up a new repo React um, Redux Saga template and I'll put the link to this in the description if you want to check it out. Just push the initial one up. And don't need you anymore. And now we can start to change the architecture of this. So I'm just going to npm start while I'm working on this. Oops. Okay, so things I want to change first index. So I like to have um, now, I like to put my routes in a different place than my index. So what I want to set up is a routes folder. And in my routes folder, I have index.js and ooh, what is that? Okay. And then I'm basically just going to have a function here. So import react from react. And we're going to export default and then we're just going to pass our router in here so we'll pass that guy here and now we don't need these anymore we can put them here And history, we don't need to import here anymore. Provider, so this is basically the dumbed down version. So we're importing store, import routes from dot slash routes. Routes. So that way I can have different routes, and that looks good. 
and this should really be called app. So that's kind of what my index to be. And now over here in my routes, I want to basically have a different setup. So I can just delete that. So notice how I have this map to dispatch thing and basically I'm wrapping everything in this main. I don't want to do that anymore. I want to create a folder per so home and I'm going to be moving this guy instead of being in components we're going to be in routes home and we call this view and then I'm going to have an index.js in there and I'm going to move app I'm now going to call it index. Oops, let's redo that. I'm just going to do it like this. I want to copy all my stuff from app into index. I want to simplify this a little bit. Export default. get rid of this now. I don't need, there's no need for this components folder at all. So get rid of that. So now what we have is we don't need to do this. We're going to get our view from, this is our home view, which we're going to access from index. So you notice how I'm just individually wrapping each component like this so we can get the uh, state and uh, also dispatch actions. And now we're gonna have local actions. So instead of having a global one, we're gonna have actions for every component. And right now the actions is empty, so I like to just comment it out and put an empty object. And I can always um, come back and add that easily later. Um, so actions.js, I'll just put in a temp file um, export const. Now I'm not even going to put stuff in here. I'll leave it empty for now. So this is what one view would look like. So I have my view, I have my action, I have my index, and every route, every page is going to have those. So now I don't need app. We don't need a base component right now. And that looks pretty good. Our sagas should be set up nicely. And now, did I turn off the server? I thought I had it. There we go. Oh, you know what? Uh, home is now in the same folder as index, so we can delete that. So view, view is not defined, main is not defined. Where is main coming from? This is in home index. Home index. Um, my thing doesn't look like that. Sources, home, slash index. Main is not the, oh. <laughs> now we're importing the view. And that should take care of both those warnings in one. You provide a history object, oh. And now in our routes here, we need to, let's do a stack it like this. Import, what I call it, history from, we go up a folder and it's in our store. So I'll refresh that. Cool. And having sagas here is fine. And the rest of it I think is fine. And linting. That's fine. We'll lint this in a second. Sagas, routes, reducers, actions, 
Now we can create this or delete this actions because we're not going to have a global actions folder. So now anytime I want to make a route, I just basically copy this home folder and I put it, um, create this another route and I have each local, locally I have an index where I'm mapping the dispatch. Okay, so this is basically the new architecture that I like to use where I have each home route as a page and this looks good I think this is gonna be stopped I think I'm gonna stop here for the, my first iteration of it we might come back later and add some more on top so get add all get status like just make sure get commit I always like to just do get status before and make sure I'm adding the right files um, I'll just call it v1 and now let's npm run lint fix. So we'll just fix some stuff. State is defined but never used. Component should be written as a pure function. Okay, just two problems that it's not bad. Um, get diff. Let's see what it changed. Route home. Oh, I don't even have to do that. If I just do get diff, it'll show me. Oh, I, I, when I commented, it just added another space. That's not even worth committing. Okay, so nothing really changed with the lint. So I'm going to just leave it as this. This looks good. Git push origin master. Um, so this template, this new template is now set up. And this is what I'm going to start using for... Um, if I'm starting up new Redux Saga projects, but what I've been really enjoying lately is um, RxJS and doing Redux Observable. This one I've been using, I set this one up a little while ago, instead of uh, using Redux Saga, it uses Epix. You can see it's pretty nice. So that's another template I've been using lately uh, that I really enjoy. I've been I haven't been using Redux uh, Saga as much. I've been using this library, and I'm gonna be start making some more videos with this because I really like this one, and it has a super cool logo too. But I think that's it for now. Thank you guys for watching. Um, yeah, just chill video. Set up the template. That's all I really wanted to do. So I'll see you guys in the next video.